Warren Township Schools have become now the latest district to send a large portion of students to its virtual learning. Grades 5 through 12 will be learning remotely, at least for the rest of the week. Fox 59's Eric Graves looked into what communities are doing to try and keep these classrooms in person. It's a dividing line for parents, in school or out of school. Each parent focused on what they think is best for their children. Closing down is not the solution. There needs to be other solutions. Laura Coble has a sophomore at Warren Township School. She says he learns much better in person. And after being virtual for his freshman year, she doesn't want to go down that road again. I mean, and I'm at work. There's no way I can teach him and make a living. It's a frustrating time for Coble. The same can be said for Katie Martis. I want my baby safe. I want my friend's baby safe. Her kindergartner in Warren Township Schools is still in the classroom, but that's what worries her. I want them to be as precautious as possible. As of Monday, Warren Township Schools grades 5th through 12th are learning virtually. Kindergarten through 4th is not. Warren Township Administration made this decision, quote, due to a large number of staffing needs. According to the COVID database on the district website, there are more than 300 COVID positive students and staff in the school system after last week. COBOL wants everyone to be safe, but also wants more ways to prevent school from going virtual. She says easier access to tests could help. What it is, find a way to test these people and get them back. The Fisher's Health Department is working on that. It now has three and a half hours of priority testing a day only for students and school staff in Fisher's. Uh, our hope is that, um, you know, each person needing a test will be able to find one the next day. Monica Heltz, the Fisher's Health Department director, says this helps students and staff get back in the classroom or know if they do need to quarantine. Still, the testing demand right now is too much for the appointment times they have. Yeah, they filled up um, immediately. But Heltz knows these priority times will help keep schools open. As for Warren Township, school leadership denied an interview, instead sending us the same statement they sent to parents. Reporting in Warren Township, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. For parents of Warren Township students who are learning virtually this week, there is a meal pickup to help feed kids. That's happening on Thursday, and we have those details on our website.